all right guys so welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm gonna be making with you guys slow cooked beef stew inside of a crock pot so here's all of what you're going to be needing before I start breaking things down to prep it so it can be cooked I got about a pound and a half of beef stew meat I got some olive oil that I'm gonna be drizzling over the stew meat before I season it I got some soy sauce, red wine, cooking red wine, some Worcestershire sauce, some beef bouillon, garlic powder, seasoning salt, onion powder, black pepper, two thyme sprigs, five cloves of garlic that I pressed at my garlic press, two stalks of celery. I got some leftover yellow and orange pepper that I'm just going to be using to season the meat. It's not actually for the stew. I got one whole carrot, I got a red potato, and a regular gold potato, and one onion. So I'm gonna break all this stuff down as far as getting it all cut up, and I'll be right back when it's time to season the meat. Okay, so here's the first part of our breakdown. I went ahead and I cut the yellow onion that I had in half, and I sliced it up along with that small piece of orange pepper and yellow pepper that I had. And I took one stalk of the celery and I sliced it up just like that. And I still have the uh, two thyme sprigs here and the uh, minced garlic that I minced in my, uh, my garlic press. So this is basically right here, the seasoning that I'm going to be using to season our meat with. And this right here, I'm going to leave for reserve for later because I don't want to cut up the potatoes and the carrots so early because I don't want it to oxidize and turn, you know, a brownish color before use. And the onion I'll slice up later so we can have that all, you know, done for the second shift of seasoning for our crock pot beef stew. So I'm going to get this stuff out of the way and we're going to start to season our meat before we sear it off and place it in the uh, the crock pot. All right, so it's time to season up our meat. First, we're gonna start off with some olive oil, and this is to make sure that the, uh, the seasoning sticks to the meat, so I'm gonna go through with that. Make sure all these pieces are evenly coated. That should do. Now I'm gonna go down with the dry seasonings before I put the fresh vegetables on, and then let this marinate for about a half an hour. So I'm gonna go with some black pepper, Garlic powder, onion powder, tiny bit of seasoning salt, because I'm gonna get salt from the soy sauce and as well as this uh, beef bouillon. So I'm going to mix this in. Then we're gonna go in with our liquid seasonings, and then our fresh vegetables. Trust me, this is gonna be flavorful. I like to season my stuff in layers. That's why I have the other vegetables on reserve for when it's time for you know the gravy part to go down. Because if I put everything now, it's just going to disintegrate into the liquid and nothing will show. But the flavors will be there because this is going to get cooked down and taste amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go in with our soy sauce. It's about a teaspoon of that. I'm sorry, the red wine is going to be for when we actually add the meat inside of the crock pot. Okay, the Worcestershire sauce. About a teaspoon of this too. That should be good. Wow, this smells good. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of like the color you want to look for. It's going to have a little bit of darkness to it, which is good because of the soy sauce and the uh, Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so let's go in with the uh, beef bouillon, just about a teaspoon of this not much because I'm going to be using this to make my broth with it smells nice okay so I'm going to go in with our celery and peppers one at a time sprigs the other one I'll use for when I add the um, when I add the meat to the crock pot and before I sear this meat I'm going to definitely remove you know the vegetables from the meat i'm not gonna sear them with it because i don't want it to burn but i will be putting it in a crock pot once i add the meat to the crock pot so all these flavors can cook down okay now i'm going to add some of this garlic 
with the garlic, I'm not going to add too much of that because that's going to be too much to take off of the meat when it's time for searing because I don't want that to burn either. All right, guys, so here's our well-seasoned meat. That smells amazing. So I'm going to cover this up for about a half an hour, let this hang out in this bowl, and then we'll sear this off in a pan before putting it in our crock pot. But before we do that, I will show you guys how I'm going to make my liquid to cook this meat down in. Okay, guys, so in this cup, I got about two and a half cups of warm water, not hot, but warm. I'm gonna take a tablespoon and a half of this bouillon. And let this sit for a while. This is going to be my beef broth to cook this meat down in, along with some red wine. And that's about a half a cup of that. That wine is gonna bring out an amazing flavor in this dish. Okay, so here's our beef broth that I'm going to be using. So I'm gonna let that sit and hang out. And we can go sear this meat now because the meat has been marinating long enough. Okay guys, so our pan is preheating. Just wanna add a little bit of olive oil to your pan. You don't need much. Here's our meat that we marinated. So you just want to do this to get a nice little color, you know, on these sides. And the meat will cook perfectly. And this is also to seal in those flavors. Okay, so I'm going to let these go. If these are pressed, make sure that they develop that perfect crust that we're looking for. It's exactly what you want. Remember, you're not cooking the meat all the way through. You don't want to do that. We're just doing this to get some color and to lock in those flavors that we season the meat with. So our first batch is done. I'm going to remove these. First, I'll show you what the other side looks like. Perfect. This is exactly what you want to see. So let me get these out and add that second batch. So guys, after this gets cooked the way that I want it to, let me show you the first batch. It will be time for us to add our seared meat to the crock pot. All right guys, so I already went and put our broth that I made inside of the crock pot. And here are our beef pieces that have been seared. So now it's time to add them. After I add this meat and I will add in the, uh, the red wine. That stuff works so well with beef recipes. And we are definitely gonna put all of this seasoning in. The liquid from the meat. Give that a quick stir. So this red wine is about a half a cup. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this later. So my crock pot is set on low. I'm gonna be cooking this for about eight hours. 40 minutes to a half an hour, I'll go and add in the remainder of our vegetables, which is the carrot and potato that we have to cut up. So this right here is just you know, the remainder of vegetables that was on our meat that we seasoned it with. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of water to this so we can get some of that uh, seasoning off out of it. Not much because we have enough liquid. Just swirl it around. There we go. And our second time sprig, I'm gonna drop that right on in there. This is going to cook down. And guys, I will see you in seven hours. All right, guys, so let's cut up our vegetables for 
our beef stew. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the onion first. I'm gonna do the potatoes last because I don't want, you know, too much air to hit it. There we go. Just give them a rough chop. Probably not gonna even use all of this because the other onions that we put in for the seasoning didn't exactly disintegrate in the, the sauce. So with these, we're gonna cut these a little bigger. This carrot, I want to hurry up and get it in there before it starts to oxidize and turn brownish. And it won't look too appetizing in the, the stew. Now for the potatoes. Okay, so with these potatoes, just want to kind of quarter them. And any dark spots or things you know you would not eat are on it, just cut them off. Now I'm cutting these this size because it's going to get smaller as it starts to cook. And that's how you're going to get your gravy from the starch from the potato. Now for the red potato, I'm only using this for color. But of course it's going to tastes good I'm gonna cut these a little smaller because they'll hold up better as we cook them in the uh, in the crock pot okay so there you have it guys, that's the rest of our vegetables. So, oh, let me show you how I'm gonna cut the carrots. All right guys, let's open up this pot. Ooh -wee. Look at that, look at that. Wow, see how the meat is breaking up? Perfect, exactly what you want. So let's check out the tenderness of this meat, being that we're always we're almost through the cooking process. See how that's just breaking up? See how easy that was? That is gonna be some good stew, guys. I'm excited. Let's check this out. That's what you want. You want your meat to be fork tender. Okay. So now let's add in the rest of our goodness so we can cook this the rest of the way. The rest of that. Some of these onions. This isn't an actual size. I didn't break them up, but they'll break up in, in here. Celery. Get your butts in there. Carrots. Potatoes. Red potatoes. Man, this is gonna be so good, guys. Right, guys, I'm gonna give this a little stir to get that garlic through. Oh, look at that, come on. You guys better have subscribed to this channel by now. Come on now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let this cook for another half an hour to get those potatoes and carrots and celery cooked. And I'll be back when it's time to check on it and then eat some. All right, guys, so our crock pot beef stew is done. Look how tender this meat is. A lot of my meat in here has ended up going in the shreds, but that's all good 
we have ourselves a, a nice gravy here and this meat is tender it's gonna you know as you can see so let's get this into a bowl I already made some uh, some white rice Go ahead it with a little gravy, a little extra gravy. Got a little fresh chopped parsley. Just for a little color, not much. All right guys, so here's our homemade beef stew. Made by yours truly, Mr. NJS.